Uh, you know, I see explosiveness. I, I think we, um, I think, I think we have the potential to be an explosive football team. Uh, we have a lot of new players uh, that bring something to the table, as we kind of anticipated they would. Um, so I, I think we're a, I think we're a pretty darn explosive football team, including our kicker. Um, you look at number five, Lee Crosby, intercepting that ball and running it back. Uh, he shows you what kind of explosiveness. Uh, Travis Green intercepts and runs it back. But just across the board, you know, 58. Um, Maurice Daniels, we got him in there. Uh, Chris Lee, 59. You know, we just, I think we're pretty explosive. And, um, um, you know, th th that's what I take out of this game. Um, you know, we were better than they were. Uh, um, but again, I, I don't take a shutout ever for granted. I don't ever take 66 points for granted. You know, you look around college football, Portland State beat Washington State today. Um, North Dakota went in and beat Wyoming. Um, uh, South Dakota State beat Kansas, I believe. You take nothing for granted. So, you know, it went about as well as it could go. Um, you know, we started out, uh, we had a couple penalties early. You know, Bundy had the penalty that really hurt us on uh, maybe the second play of the game, first or second play of the game. Uh, we, we had some penalties early, uh, but other than that, I thought it went, um, it went about as well as you could hope it could go. Did you get out of it what you had hoped? I mean, you kind of schedule these, um, you know, FCS schools for future years as well. Did you get what you were hoping? Well, I noticed we play Sam Houston next year, and I think it was about 42 to 38 at halftime, Texas Tech and Sam Houston. Um, so just as I said, I mean, when you schedule, you don't really know what you're going to get. Um, you know, so yeah, we, we got what we wanted out of it. I mean, Tavita Fanua played the whole game at center. We got Chris Lewis in there. We got Jack Ziltz in there. Aqua played. Uh, we got little Daryl Chestnut, his hands on the ball. You see what he can be. Uh, McCorley got some carries. It can be a big back for us. Um, uh, you know, so yeah, I mean, you know, we threw it around a little bit. Um, uh, you know, I thought Austin would throw it a little bit better. I think it was good that we got Austin Apodaca in there. You know, he hasn't played a, a Division I game in a while. Um, you know, so yeah, I mean, we got exactly what we wanted out of it. I don't, I don't think you could really draw it up. Um, with that said, I think, um, um, you know, I think this game next week has a chance to be one of the biggest games around here in a long time. I, I really mean that. Uh, Tulsa is a team that, um, um, I guess the last two times we've played them, uh, what was it, 56 to 14 Rockies last year and 44 to 10. So what's that add up to? 124? Tulsa beat us the last two times we've played in 2008 and 2009. Uh, they had a comeback win today, uh, overtime, a beat a FAU, scored a touchdown in overtime to win. I think next week's game has a chance to be a big time game here. I, I think it's a pivotal game for us. So we're on to the next one. You know, we're bringing the kids in tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a long day for coaches and players, and, and you know, we're on to the next one now. What did you see in your team that that really made you feel good, other than explosiveness, that made you feel really good about what, what could be? Uh, you know, I, I start with the snaps. You know, I knew that, um, you know, for Tavita Fanua, he's never played center in a game before. And basically went the whole game. I don't think he really had an errant snap. That's the first thing to me. Uh, there are a lot of new guys playing. There, there were a lot of new faces out there. And, uh, uh, you know, Aaron Jenkins was an offensive tackle. It's the first time he's really played in the game. Uh, you, you know, so. Um, I mean, there's nobody holding up the, the national championship trophy just now, but you know, it, was, it was a pretty good start. We, we all saw what it was. How did you say Lamar has played? Um, I thought Lamar was pretty good. You know, we didn't run much triple. We weren't going to, you know, we weren't going to put him in harm's way. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't do hardly any triple option tonight. I think we could have probably. Um, probably run it pretty successfully. You know, we found out early um, we had some things on him in the triple game, and we just kind of put that to rest and made, you know, made us play a little bit more uh, conventional in some ways. Um, so um, I thought Lamar played pretty good. You know, I, I, again, you know, it's, it's, it's when everything goes right, it's a little bit easier, obviously. But, I, you know, it, 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 you guys all saw what, what it was. Please with the passing, like, because you guys mixed yeah, it up. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> It was okay. You know, I think, again, you see, you see some talented guys. You know, big 82, big number 5, 19, Matt Corals. They're all young guys. I mean, Patrick Reed's a freshman football-wise. 
Uh, Matt Corals is a freshman football wise, five and 19, and then Delane Hart has three years. Uh, you know, we've got some big explosive guys. I mean, we have, we have made a transition. You know, we, we are more explosive and we have more personnel than we had. But let's be honest, we'll know a lot more next week at this time than we know right now. You mentioned Chestnut. Does that go to uh, show the depth of, you know, the running game that you've known you guys have had? He's a, he's a unique little guy. You know, he kind of takes those choppy steps, but he goes. He goes. And, and uh, you know, McCorley. McCorley's a 220-pound back that we haven't had. Uh, Tyrone Owens. Tyrone Owens is a good football player. Um, we, we, we've, Woodhouse. You know, we, we have um, – um, we've added some talent. There's no question about that. We, we've added some talent to this football team, and there's a lot of young guys out there that uh, I'm kind of excited to watch their development. What about on defense? How do you assess that? Uh, hard to tell. You know, they, they struggled. Mississippi Valley State really struggled. I'm, I'm not sure they knew what they really wanted to do. Um, you know, we got to play a lot of guys. You know, Dakota got back into the fray, played. Um, you know, Maurice Daniels played a lot. Sam Mabani played a lot. Chris Lewis played a lot in there. Uh, Travis Green played. You know, we, we got a chance to play a lot of guys that haven't played here. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, you guys will see next week when Tulsa comes in here. Offensively, Tulsa, number one, the receiver, number two, the receiver, number nine, the quarterback. They've got a couple running backs. All their offensive line is back. It starts next week. Tulsa's going to have the big receivers. They're going to throw the ball down the field. They're going to be super up-tempo. It'll probably be hot because we had a cool night tonight. But um, other than number two jumping off sides on that first blitz of the game, it, it went pretty good, man. All right, guys. We good? Where'd that rain come from? Huh? Where'd that rain come from, Rick? How feel out there, Lamar? Oh, you know, it's a blessing, you know, play the first game. You know, everybody was a little antsy. You know, you could tell. I mean, Bundy, you know, he was just getting after it, you know, first penalty. You know, he was just blocking his butt off, you know. But I just, you know, I love, you know, season openers, you know. I didn't expect the rain, so that shocked us. But, you know, we played through anything, you know. I just, I'm glad that we showcased, and I can't wait for Tulsa. Lamar, of course, you didn't really run any triple option. You did carry the ball five times. Did it like design runs or what? You know, they're just run reads, you know. We put a lot in zone read, you know, RPOs. That's our you know, main focus now. So there are a lot of RPOs, you know, that you just, you know, get what you can, then worry about the next play. Lamar, how would you assess your play overall? Uh, I feel like I could do better. You know, there's a lot of times where the scramble to Delane, if I would have hit him, you know, where he didn't have to jump, he probably would have scored. You know, I feel like I'd do better, you know. I'm all just a competitor. I'm hard on myself. You know, I always want to, you know, do better. So, you know, I'm just getting ready for Tulsa. You brought up Tulsa. How, how much does this seem like this is like almost like a – exhibition game or something, and then you get ready for the real season to start because Tulsa coming in. Oh, you can't take anyone lightly. You know, we just, you know, we got on Mississippi Valley. You know, we just kept going. We put pushed the pedal, you know, and that's what we got to do with every team, you know, and so, you know, our fake focus is on Tulsa now. You know, we got to watch them. You know, I'm good friends with the quarterback, you know, so it's going to be a shootout. Lamar, how nice was it to watch, you know, the defense, you know, put your shit out? Oh, you know, that's great, you know. Going against them, you know, for about 100 practices, it felt like. You know, them saying, I want to hit you so bad, and I guess I hit the other quarterback. You know, look, it feels good. It's always good, you know, when the defense does great. You know, we feed off the defense. You know, when they get a turnover and T. Green scored that pick, you know, I was pumped. You know, thought CJ was going to get a pick, and I thought Langford was going to get one. But, you know, I just feed off the defense, and I loved it. You had uh, both quarterbacks in there in the first half type deal and dictated by the way that the game was going. Um, do you expect against Tulsa on um, Frost to get some reps too, or do you think it's, you know, kind of, you uh, got the keys for a while? With our offense, it doesn't matter who you put in. You know, you put Juwan in, he's going to throw over 200 yards. You put Caleb in, he's going to throw over 200 yards. You put Austin in. You know, that's what we all have. We all have something similar. You know, we're all ballers, we're all athletes, we compete. You know, it doesn't matter who gets in. You know, I'm just focused on the win, and that's all that matters. Hey, y'all seem to right. Thank you. What's your evaluation? You know, Coach said it's kind of hard to tell because of the opponent, but you being one of the guys playing out there, how would you evaluate? Uh, I think the defense moved around pretty quick. Uh, we kind of executed exactly what we wanted to do. But uh, we, get, of course, we got adjustments and stuff that we got to fix. But I think it was pretty fast and move, move around the ball really quick.
How much was that good just to get that, get a win like that and, and have the defense in the shutout, even, you know, regardless of the opponent, just have the defense get a shutout prior to somebody like Tulsa? Uh, really, you know, with this new defense and stuff, you know, we kind of just wanted to go out there and make a statement. So uh, I think, you know, holding them to zero points and made a statement, at least a little bit, no matter the team. But uh, I think we got what we wanted to do. Regardless of the, of the opposition, is, is as aggressive as you were, is that how you guys want to be, how, how you plan to be? Uh, yeah, honestly, I would hope we'd be a little bit more aggressive. But, uh, you know, uh, I, I, like, I like what we're doing, and I think we can be successful with it. How different do you think Tulsa is going to be next week as opposed to the team you just faced? Uh, they're going to be pretty different. You know, they're going to move a lot faster and try to you know execute a lot more than more, a lot more plays. But uh, you know, we just got to be ready for that. I think we're pretty prepared to go up tempo and play against up tempo team. So I think we're pretty pretty prepared for that. How did the first game uh, being in the net will feel for you guys? Uh, like I said, it's pretty it's pretty good. I think we executed what we wanted to do. You know. Uh, I just I think we look good out there. Everybody's flying to the ball and executing, so uh, we just got to build off of it. Anything else? Okay. Going home, going home to Oklahoma, or have, having them come here. Did Tulsa recruit you? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, uh, from Tulsa and uh, all that. So I pretty know, pretty much know, pretty a lot of players over there. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty cool game for me, uh, playing where I'm from. Anything else?